The American Academy of Ophthalmology says that floaters are harmless, fade over time, and require no treatment. Are they lying to you? Let's explore that and find out. Hi, I'm Dr. James Johnson. I am also known as the Floater Doctor. I'm an ophthalmologist with a medical practice specializing in the treatment of eye floaters, and I've been doing so since 2007. So when you go to your doctor's office, and on the wall there is a whole rack of brochures, and in, in the case of eye doctors, you'll have uh, you know, cataract and macular degeneration and glaucoma, and they might have one here with flashes and floaters. And um, you know, it's interesting to look at. This is kind of the company line, American Academy of Ophthalmology. And they talk a little bit about you know, what floaters are, where they're located, what the symptoms are. And then you know, the meat of the matter, where it says, can floaters be removed? Front paragraph says, well, it might be a sign of something uh, important and make sure you get an eye exam. Totally agree, yeah, let's rule out any retinal holes, tears, detachments, anything that might threaten the vision. Then they say other floaters are harmless, fade over time, become less bothersome, and require no treatment. Really? Is that the company line? I'm the floater doctor. I've been talking to people with floaters for 16 plus years. And there is a very uh, common theme woven into these conversations. There's a lot of anxiety, depression, despondency, um, uh, uh, changes of behavior. I'm not doing the things I used to enjoy, enjoy as much as before because of their eye floaters. Eye floaters are significant. They affect the quality of vision. They affect the quality of life and the uh, educational organizations, the professional organizations like the, the, the American Academy of Ophthalmology um, say that they're not a problem. They don't consider floaters to be a primary problem. We, I'm on your side, we beg to differ. So if you've gone to your local doctor, and many people I've talked to have been to two or three uh, eye exams for their floaters and have been told more or less the same thing. Um, oh, the fix is worse than the problem. You know, you don't want to have the vitrectomy. It's invasive. It's problematic. We recommend you just don't do anything. Or they throw out some other uh, platitudes to get you out the door. Um, oh, they'll fade over time. Your brain will get used to it. You'll neuroadapt. Um, uh, you won't see them after a while. Give it six months. All these things, these are super, super common. And I don't know. I don't, I don't believe that. You know, there's no mechanism in the eye to clear these things out. Uh, the immune system doesn't see them as, as foreign or as abnormal. So if you've had floaters for a while, you might consider a trip to see me. Why me? Why not go to someone local? Well, there are very few of us that treat floaters on a regular basis. Um, I, my specialty is in the use of a laser to actually destroy the floaters inside the eye. Um, for the younger people who may not be a candidate for the laser, I've got low-dose atropine, a mild a, a very, very um, mild strength, a mild pupil dilating agent that reduces the shadows caused by the floaters. I've got something that can probably help most of the people on that spectrum age-wise. So you might disregard what the American Academy of Ophthalmology says. It might require a trip to Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, why not go local? Well, there's very few people who specialize in this and know what they're doing and have the experience to back it up. If you have any questions, contact me through my website, thefloaterdoctor.com. You can email me directly, mail at thefloaterdoctor.com. I've got a ton of information on my website. I've got 30, 35, 40 videos on my YouTube channel covering just about everything floaters. So um, go there. Uh, it's a great resource. Get your information. If you still have unanswered questions, by all means, contact me. Uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks for watching.